Daily Wire. You will just not learn, will you? Hey everyone, this is going to be Joshua from Future Filmic Reviews. I saw movies, TV, anime, and music. Doing another 2022 catch up review while do, reviewing some older stuff leading up to Avatar and such. We're going to continue on with the catch up with my thoughts on Terror on the Prairie. And this movie is another one of those Daily Wire movies. Oh my god. Of course, starring Gina Carano and the son of Daniel Day Lewis. And this is directed by Who Gives a Crap, made by your happy go lucky Daily Wire. What have you done? I'm very disinterested in this is because this is one of my least favorite films of the year. And for a good reason. I do not like this movie whatsoever. This is possibly the worst Western movie. I've ever seen. Now, I haven't seen a lot of westerns movies that are bad. I've seen, I've seen enough western movies. I am a fan. I love Django Unchained. I love The Hateful Eight. I love the Fistful of Dollars trilogy. And I even grew up watching episodes of Gunsmoke on TV Land. But this, Terror on the Prairie. Even though this was made by The Daily Wire, I still wanted to give this movie a fair chance. I wanted to go into this movie with some optimism, because it's a western, and plus you have Gina Carano, one of her first things after the debacle with Star Wars Lucasfilm after she got fired and such for speaking her mind, let's just say that. Could you? Which I will say there are some words that she should have said that should have been worded better. I'll just say that because it's kind of wrong. Oh, but I was curious enough because it seemed like it has some potential, but none of the marketing didn't do this any justice. They were just saying stuff like Lucasfilm cancel her and shit and now she's back they didn't really get into the plot or the details of what the plot was going to be they just and th this is coming from the people who again the fuck your films group who made run hide and fight was my, one of my least favorite movies of 2021 so going into this i had a list a little bit of hope that if any that this would be at least decent I should have known better, because this is a bad film. I hated this movie. Hated, 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 hated this movie. Hated it. Hated every simpering, stupid, vacant, audience-insulting moment of it. Now, there are worse movies in 2022 I've seen that has cracked my top seven worst of 2022. Correct! But I'm seriously struggling to attach myself as to why this had to happen the way it did. There is almost nothing good I can say about this movie. The only slight positives I can give to this is it does have an interesting premise that could have went somewhere. I do think that you could have done something with this premise if it handled it right in the right hands. You also do have some stunning cinematography, there are some great shots in here as far as the way the, the action scenes are shot, the way certain scenes are in wide frame and closer shots, and it's a good looking movie, I'll say that. And I will say for the little bit of action you get, it's, it was entertaining as well as the, you don't get 100,074 cuts. The acting from everyone, including Gina Carano and Gabriel Day Lewis, or if that's his name. Overall, they are fine. No one offensive, no one bad. They did their job. And I say all that because I don't have anything else nice to say about this. This is one, this is truly a really bad movie. Let's go off what doesn't work. First off, the direction in this movie. The direction in this movie has no clear 
passion in it. There's no clear thing. And the other Daily Wire movie that they came out this year was shut in, which I just said no to. But the direction of this movie is not well handled. Acting is fine, but the problems are is this is a very soulless movie in this directing and writing. There's no style here, there's no flavor or individuality in here. It takes what could have been an interesting setting to mix with the atmosphere and, and you make it one of the most dullest, boring, don't give a fuck movies I've ever seen. Cowards! Make it very forgettable too. When you take that and you, your script is very bare bones, like, there's not an inch of character development for the characters you don't care, you're supposed to root for, or the team, the vicious outlaws that you're supposed to not like. There's none of that in this movie. You don't really get any sort of motivation as to why they're doing what they're doing, why they want to kill this family, why the family wants to attack them. There's not really sense of motivation in this movie. It doesn't do anything and it doesn't have a lot to say. It just has your usual western movie cliches without having a bit of, of something important to say or do something emotionally with it. It doesn't even feel like a thriller in the movies that's supposed to be suspenseful because they're very empty and also there is not of the soundtrack in there. I know some directors have a different style, you don't have to have a soundtrack for everything, but there's barely some kind of score or something that you're supposed to feel a little bit of tense and you're supposed to feel suspension here. And it does not go for that in the slightest. It just takes the easy way out. Very cookie cutter, very bland, very boring. On uh, some other westerns, some other movies, this works pretty well not having the soundtrack. But the difference in the movies like that, those, they had a different approach of directing. And they had a different piece of directing style. Whereas this movie doesn't, there's, I don't really know what they were trying to do here. Even though with other movies I hate it. I respect that they tried. I respect that this one was trying. But the problem with this movie is that it doesn't go full force. It doesn't have anything to say. You go into something like this, you definitely have to have some kind of something to say. Otherwise, your movie is not really saying a lot. You're saying a lot without saying nothing at all. It's boring. An hour and 47 minutes. I don't expect everything to be action packed and such but you gotta at least give me something to chew on if you're gonna have me sit through a movie that's very boring this is a movie that is just, it doesn't know what you're trying to go for it and also because this is made by the daily wire the fuck your feelings corporation as i'm gonna keep calling them they just act like they don't give a shit they gave little two shifts and I don't even support Daily Wire. I think Daily Wire is a bunch of nonsense. The fact that this is just the most laziest excuse of a Western movie doesn't change the fact that I was sitting there bored. If all of that wasn't bad enough, this movie has a very anticlimactic ending. I'm not going to give it away because I want to keep this short and sweet. I know some people say reviews should not have a limit, but with me, especially with newer releases, if I don't want to go into detail, I do have my limits. But when I'm talking about an older film, of course, I would go more in depth. So I'm trying to give the best of both worlds. It just bothered me. The ending was very anticlimactic. I didn't feel anything at the end. I just felt like I wasted my time. And when I feel like I wasted my time, you give me the feeling of like Homelander in The Boys. But overall, Terror on the Prairie, not a good western, not a good second to sound from The Daily Wire. And if they're not, gonna, they're not gonna try to put effort into their stuff, then they just need to stop with the movie because this is just pure stupidity 
of why there has been some very bad movies this year. And this is why everyone hates The Daily Wire. There's a few good things, the cinematography, some action's okay, Gina Carano and the cast do fine. But if I want to watch a western movie, I will go to Django Unchained, the good, bad, and the ugly trilogy. Or I will even go to Gunsmoke, episodes of Gunsmoke before I watch this, because this is one of the most dullest westerns I've seen. It might be the worst western movie I've seen. I haven't seen a lot of the western movies that are bad, but they cannot be nowhere near as bad as this. Well, that's going to do it for the video that you just watched. I will have my channel here, so you would like to see anything here. Click the channel icon, subscribe for more. I will also leave a video and maybe a playlist here, so in case you want to see what I'm about. As always, stay up assassinist, join the assassinist, and you guys keep it cool.